So I've got this, uh, my Alaskan trailer. Look at that jackrabbit. At a storage facility here, because I didn't, I ran out of room. So I'm just gonna pick it up now and I'm gonna show you what I'm up to here. Um, so these are the heavy duty uh, Rico Titan and this is, these things came with this. And these guys are some big dough. I believe they're around a thousand bucks US. And the plan is for these, you mount these brackets onto the sides of your camper, the Alaskan camper, and you can see it just bolts up here. Um, this is the outside wing, of course, and I would have to, you, inside it, put some gussets or some plywood, some metal, steel, whatever, to help support this span, and then it would bolt through to this, and this guy would stay on it. Um, you know, that's, you take this guy off if you want or whatever, and then this here gets strapped down to the bottom of your truck at the front and at the back so uh, that means these guys are sitting on or you can tilt these so they I believe you can tilt these so they kind of ride with the truck but I think they look like crap and again this would be here the whole time and the things when you tie these down when you're pulling on this it's always kind of pulling on the trailer and I'm thinking this guy's like 1600 pounds I think dry it's probably 2000 pounds it's gonna be a ton loaded up I don't think it's going anywhere. My only concern is because this is a 10 footer that you're going to, you know, your, your tailgate's down and this is hanging out. Your tailgate's here down and I don't want it sliding out. So I got a couple ideas that might work. And again, I just like it. I want it to be clean. I don't want these on it. Of course, they got to be there when you unload it, but I just don't want those brackets on it. So here's my plan. So what's going to happen here, guys, this is a stake pocket uh, tie down guy i'll show you what these are kind of old school i'll show you where those go they're supposed to go and what i'm going to do so these are stake pockets on the side of the uh, pickup truck and you there's three of them one at the front one in the middle and one at the back and basically what i'm going to do is these guys here are out of princess auto what they do is when you tighten this up it compresses that rubber and it can't come out so i'm going to use these to fasten the um the camper down and I think it's uh, it's going to work because the camper, like I say, is going to be a, a ton. It's not flying out of this thing. These will hold it down without give, you know, with some give being rubber. It's not going to be yanking on that trailer all the time. And I'm just going to tighten this down with the butterfly or a nut so it expands inside this uh, stake pocket. I'll tell you what, putting 2,000 pounds in the back of this thing is the best thing I've ever done. It rides like a Cadillac, smooth. So basically what's, what I'm gonna do here is, this is 3 8 inch threaded rod. And I'm gonna take this off. And I've got a length of 3 8 inch. I can pick up a three foot piece. And I'm gonna cut, this is too short for what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, cut six inch piece out of this and put the new threaded rod in, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. That's the original one, and I'm just gonna take that off, this guy out, replace it with the six inch piece, put it back together, and now it's pretty much ready to go. So there they are, set up, ready to go. I'm gonna keep these guys for sure. I can reuse those when the camper's off. So I've chalked the line, I, you know, I, I calculated everything, I chalked the line and found all six holes the right distance apart on each side. That took about five minutes, but the, this is obviously the back of the trailer. Uh, I got a problem here, and the problem is that when you come in here, here are those wings that I'm gonna drill into that I just showed you with the chalk line, and it's just plywood, and that last hole, stake hole, is pretty much right on the gable of this wall. Uh, between the stove and uh, under the sink. This is the sink. So I, I can't put one there. Not a big deal though because this guy comes equipped with six of these holes. Anyway, so this has got this guy here and I was going to utilize the two back ones only because I don't want it, the camper to, you know, slip out. So this will pin them. I was thinking of doing a quick uh, detachable pins. So this will go into the truck bed and it'll stop the camper from sliding out or helping it as well. I mean, it would have to rip through the bottom of the the uh, truck box so that's the plan so i'm going to delete this last one here it's going to get pinned down on the back onto the floor again i just want to be able to take it off and on easily i don't want to crawl underneath the truck and unbolt it in the winter or whatever so i'm going to make quick detachable pins there 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the plan for the front and the middle and we should be good to go. So I measured the width between the two holes I just put in. Um, and these are the middle holes and they're bang on. <laughs> I'm gonna keep these low. Uh, I don't wanna lose them yet, but I'm gonna keep them low just so I can get the camper over top, line them up and pop them in. So here's that Rico Titan uh, jacks. So there's a little notch here and on this side there's a pin. And you just pop that guy on, and it locks in, and now you just crank it. I don't know if this is of any interest, but what I did was on the back of this trailer that's fitting in between the wheel wells, I just put a little pen mark on it in the center uh, and then I did the same on my tailgate. It just helps me line it up quick instead of messing around. I know I'm dead center to begin with anyway. So here's what we got. We got this guy in and you can see the extra room we have there because I didn't back up perfectly center. It's kind of hard to do it. And I don't see a lot of Alaskan campers with these cool side drawers. So what they're good for is, I know I gotta push this thing over this much to wedge this next drawer in, because it's just too tight. So while I still have it up flapping around, and it is flapping around, it's up really high, I'm gonna shove it over, and then I can drive this next drawer in, and it's squared up. You can see the gap I have. It's still gotta come back about an inch. So I'm gonna jam, I'm gonna back the truck up that way so it's hitting, and then we'll be perfectly lined up with these holes, and that'll go inside, and this one will too, and will be golden. So these are just plates I picked up at Home Depot. Four of them, they were three bucks each, and they're just for attaching um, pieces of wood together, as shown here, but they're perfect. So I replaced the butterfly with this nut, and these are way too long. Obviously, I'm going to cut these off when I'm done. And then the plate's going to go... I'm going to crank this, and it's going to expand that rubber so it can't come out. And then I'm going to put these plates over top. Should be good to go. Uh, this, I was going to use plywood, but it just gets to be too thick on the seat. So I'm just going to go with this and probably just a nut just to keep it a lower profi uh, profile than the uh, butterfly. So the existing holes didn't work. Um, they kind of went through into a bed support, so I didn't want to go through that. So I just moved them up four inches and put them through. And I did it with a lock washer on the bottom, like that. It's hard to do with one hand. Then a washer. Put that up through, and what that lock washer does in the bottom is stops the bottom from spinning and I don't have to use the wrench down there underneath. So until I get a locking pin, that will do it. So I'm gonna see if I can rattle this thing out of the box here. Um, like I said, I don't think it can come out unless I roll the vehicle, and um, at that point, I got bigger issues than this thing flying out of the box. Another thing to note is the brakes in this truck are unbelievably awesome. This thing, it just, it's amazing. It really is blowing me away how this thing stops. Um, the, it's just a great, great thing, heavy duty for sure. And the power um, of the 460, you don't even know the thing's back there other than the, the ride smoother. Um, but yeah, tons of power, no issues. Um, and again, just it, it just rides better when the camper's in the back. It made it. There was a beauty goshawk that just flew over me. And I think that's what I hear in the background.
So it hasn't moved. Uh, I checked inside and nothing's bounced around. And that was some pretty nasty washboards, especially with this heavy duty. F-250, my forerunner handles that stuff way better. Uh, I don't mean handle it better. I mean, just it's more comfortable. Uh, this guy's a bit of a beast, but you know what? This thing is kicking butt so far. Uh, I've only had one thing pop into my brain here uh, about the size of the camper. This is a 10 foot, of course, and I'm thinking for me, an eight footer might be better, and I'll tell you why here. I wanna add bike racks to it and such, and with this guy, the way it is now, that sticks out of the box. You can hear that goshawk. Uh, that sticks out of the box, so it kind of screws up your... Uh, I, I don't have a receiver hitch on it, but I'm going to put a Class 5, or yeah, Class 5 on it, and that'll give me a nice 2-inch receiver hitch that I can mount bikes to it and whatever else. Plus, if the the box was here, it'd be inside the tailgate, which means when I got the tailgate out, it's a little work platform. Um, of course, the box is... It actually makes the bed about 2 feet smaller, um, the bed area but it's still good for two people. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I don't know yet. But you know what? You don't know this stuff until you test it out and you don't know what you really need. Or, you know, the 10-footer is awesome, but I think I might sniff around for an 8-footer. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, it hasn't moved. The box is in there, and that was pretty nasty uh, washboards. You know, if I was going to go some uh, do some serious four-wheeling, uh, I might do add some more bolts to it. But realistically... Um, for what I'm doing, camping and such, in places like this, this thing has been so far so good. Look at these guys. Hey guys, or girls, 